Hello guys, my name is Joy Makanya, I'm a CEO and founder at JT Tips. For today's video, we're going to cover how to write to FR and Parfum. So the first step will be let's create a file name, uh, the variable that will allow us to store the file name. Okay. And then a file will allow us to store content uh, permanently. Um, so that particular file it's going to be uh, it's going to be saved on your computer on your computer hard drive. So every time you're creating a file, it's going to store it temporary on your RAM. But when you're working with file, it can allow us to save it our content on it. And then later on, we can come back and read from it. All right. Okay. Let's create a variable called file. Then we're going to make use of a function called open, which will allow us to specify the first argument of the file name. Then the second argument, it will be the mode. How we want to use or how we want to access the specific file. So we want to write to a file, we need to make use of that. Okay, so let's make use of the right method. So the right method will allow us to write a single line to write, yeah, to write the data or the content on the single line. Okay, that's me. So we're going to be right there. Then we have five dots, our uh, right line. So this one, will, uh, it take uh, a collection. So I'm going to pass a list of lines. So the first element, it's going to be uh, the, uh, the next line. So this will be maybe uh, well done. And then slash n allow also to specify it's a character for a new line. Okay. Then we'll say the comma. Then once we're done writing to a file, or once we're done accessing a file, then we have to close. We have to close it. Because if we don't, then the next person, uh, uh, he or she, will not going to be able to access the file. So we have to say file dot close. Okay, that's it. Let's run our program and then bingo. So it's going to create a file called data.txt. And here we go. So I'm just going to add uh, a new line actually. So if I run it, so I'll, I have to make something clear. Every time you write to a file, if you're using that view, it's going, if uh, the file does not exist, it's going to create a file. But if uh, we already have the specific file on the same location, then it's going to override the content of that file. Meaning it's just going to remove the previous test and then write the new content. So we'll see what will happen. So I'm going to run it again. And then we come back and then we see this one goes to the next one. So it overrides the content. Okay. And thank you guys. Please subscribe, share, and like the video. Bye.